Charles Stewart is the filmmaker whose images first alerted the world to the famine in Coram. It was the biblical famine which caused hundreds of thousands of deaths. It was the famine which led to the Live Aid concerts. Some of the worst babies, they were just rejecting out of hand because they said, Dad, that baby's dead, it will never survive. Uh, too late, too late, too late, too late, we'll take that. And, um, that's a terrible thing. Terrible, terrible thing. My poor people making the decisions. Charles did not come out of the famine unscathed. What effect did it have on, on you? I don't know. Uh, I think it's a burden you carry all your life. It harms you, damages you. I'm damaged. At Sunday worship, Kesengeda breaks bread for his congregation. Now 73, a year older than Charles, he's a senior priest. After the service, he tells Charles 1984 could be about to happen again. We are used to good times and we are used to bad times. But today, for me as well as for everyone else here, it's a bad time. This year, the drought is at its worst. Ethiopian officials told Charles they believed aid would come again. But the stakes are high. Everyone still fears crop failures like those of 84. Charles and Pat found Akluk farming the land he'd cleared seven years back. Last time they'd met, Charles and Pat had given him some money. But he'd used it all up, and not in the way intended. Yes, you gave me money to buy an ox, farm tools, and some seeds. I bought an ox and a donkey with the money, also seeds and tools. But after you left, we were told that we had illegally cut down the forest for land. The court sentenced me to up to 18 months imprisonment or a fine. When your children are going to bed hungry, that must be a terrible thing. And when you see your children stunted and runny nosed and eyes watering because they have not got proper nutrition, that's bad, that's terrible. That is on the edge, that is on the edge. 